Hey everyone, my name is Rob with DeWalt Anchors and Fasteners. Today we're going to walk through how to properly clean and maintain the DeWalt DFD270 powder actuated fastening tool. Please note that this is not a substitute for the product instruction manual. All users of this product need to read the instruction manual prior to any installation of DeWalt anchor and fastener systems. The first thing we'll discuss is personal protective equipment, known as PPE. Always wear all the appropriate ANSI or NIOSH rated PPE. Reference the DeWalt instruction manual as well as your company safety guidelines to determine the appropriate PPE, depending on the tool, anchor, or application you'll be doing. You must also have a qualified operator's card in your possession when using this tool. The systems provided by DeWalt consist of specialty designed fasteners, installation tools, and powder loads, which are designed to function in combination to provide optimal performance. Your powder actuated fastening tool should be cleaned after every use and general tool maintenance should be performed at six month intervals or after firing 5,000 loads. All parts should be cleaned with the wire brushes supplied in your toolkit. No chemicals or oils are needed to clean this tool. To maintain the DFD270, it's necessary to disassemble and clean the entire tool if dirt is evident in the breach face or if the tool appears to lose power. Prior to cleaning the tool, make sure that there are no powder loads in the tool. First, remove the single shot nose or the magazine nose. Then remove the driver piston and bumper. The driver piston assembly and bumper are expendable parts that must be replaced periodically. Typical signs of a worn out driver piston are breaking, bending, or mushrooming of the piston. A worn bumper will be split or compacted and should be replaced. If the bumper is worn or damaged, replace it by inserting the bumper into the single shot nose or the magazine nose. Next, press the barrel assembly release button and unscrew the barrel assembly to remove it. Now remove any dirt buildup on the driver piston and the threads on the single shot nose or the magazine nose with your flat wire brush. Use the small round brush to remove any buildup from inside the barrel of the single shot nose or the magazine nose. You'll also use the small round brush to clean any buildup inside the two holes of the barrel assembly. Use the large round brush to clean any buildup from inside the tool housing and the barrel assembly. Tilt the barrel assembly forward to clean it so that any residue falls out of the barrel and not back into the tool. Now clean the powder strip guideway by inserting the scraper from the top of the tool to remove any buildup or debris. To reassemble, align the arrow on the barrel assembly with the arrow on the body of the tool and insert the barrel assembly into the tool. The barrel assembly should slide smoothly into the tool housing. Rotate the outer barrel assembly until it locks into place. Then insert the driver piston into the single shot nose or the magazine nose. Push the driver piston inside the nose until you feel and hear a faint click. This ensures the correct position of the driver piston inside the nose's ball bearings. If done incorrectly, a dry fire may occur or the fastener may not be set correctly. Next, Screw the single shot nose or the magazine nose into the tool until the release button engages. Now that you've reassembled the tool, perform a test to ensure everything is correctly seated. This can be done by depressing the tool against the flat, hard surface and pulling the trigger without a fastener or powder load in the tool. The barrel assembly should slide smoothly inside the tool housing assembly and the firing pin should release after the trigger has been pulled. Remember, Safety begins with you. It's your primary responsibility when operating this tool. Failure to follow the proper operating, cleaning, maintenance, and safety procedures can result in serious injury or death to yourself or those around you. That's it. You're ready to use your DeWalt powder actuated fastening tool.